Hello there, my sweet friends, and welcome back. Last night, Mark and I just got home from Florida visiting family for a few days, and I just wanted to get comfy cozy because it is a torrential downpour today. It's quite chilly, and I was really in the mood for some soup, and I remember watching a YouTube channel a while back, and she was talking about her homemade vegetable broth and i thought my gosh that smells all well, sounds actually it probably smells but also sounds so good um so what you normally do is when you cut up vegetables you know how you get the ends well you save all those even onion skins and you put them in a freezer bag and put them in the freezer so then when you're ready to make some homemade broth you just take it out and you put some water and a little seasoning and let it cook on the stove for a while then you strain it so that's what we're going to do today in the hopes that it will turn out good and i think it will and then tomorrow we're going to make some homemade minestrone soup for dinner or maybe it could be for lunch whatever i decide we're going to have for tomorrow but i want to go ahead and jump right in and get started so welcome back friends I decided I still may want to make the minestrone soup today. So as I was cutting up the vegetables, all those little ends and bits, I just tossed into my vegetable broth that I'm making here on the stove. And I'm loving this whole concept of not wasting. My vegetable broth is smelling so good with all the vegetables simmering together. I just tasted it. It is perfection. So I thought, well, again, since I've already had this broth and it's done, I might as well make the minestrone soup. So as I mentioned, I cut up the carrots, the onions, and the celery. We're going to go ahead and get that sauteed in some olive oil. I had some extra zucchini that I wanted to use up. So I went ahead and sauteed uh, those in some olive oil and some salt and pepper. And I love to add those into scrambled eggs for breakfast. So that's probably what I'll do tomorrow. But this minestrone soup recipe is so delicious, friends. And it's from Love and Lemons. I love this cookbook. Now, this specific minestrone soup is not in this cookbook, but this is probably one of my favorite cookbooks. It's so delicious and healthy. And uh, I just love, love, love the recipes. And a lot of times, as I'm looking for something and I see my book, I'm like, oh my gosh, I've got to go back to that book again because there's just so many that I've made that I've loved. And it's one of those that you know that you'll just want to have on hand, especially when you want to eat healthy. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get the minestrone soup made, get the uh, vegetable sauteing, and then get this soup ready because Mark should be home soon. And I think he's going to be so excited to have some nice warm soup, especially on this dreary, dreary, cold, rainy day. friends so I wanted to share something with you this morning I tried this yesterday and then again last night so um, you know the new heatless curls well actually they've been around what am I saying new new to me more or less because my hair has always been so much shorter so I wanted to show I wanted to share with you how to use them and um, what they can do with my kind of length here 
So these have really been in though since, I don't know, nine o'clock last night and it's nine o'clock in the morning. So it's gonna be, my hair takes to a curl super easy. My hair was dry, there was no dampness or anything to it. So this is gonna be a test. Yesterday I didn't work as hard to put them in as I did um, today, well last night I should say. Uh, I really try to concentrate on making them really tight last night. They are so comfortable to sleep in, I can tell you that much. And I have a, um, I'm going to share with you once I get this unclipped. I have a um, Velcro roller here. So what you want to do is you got the little scrunchies here that I take off. Got the scrunchies off and I'm just gonna loosen it up a little bit. Wow, I can see this one side really is gonna be curlier than the other. Oh my. Okay, I'm gonna run my hands through it and let's just check it out. Again, this is absolutely no product. Um, my hair was completely dried, it wasn't damp or anything. Wow, look at the curl. Oh my goodness, look at it. Wow. So there you have it. Now it's gonna drop throughout the day, which is really good. But this heatless curl thing is so super cool. It's healthy for your hair. This is not an ad, by the way. Oh my. I can't wait to see how it looks. I think yesterday I didn't do it very long and it was just very loose curls but i think i like that it's a little bit more tight and then as the day goes on it will drop a little bit so we'll see but so far this thing is amazing wow okay there you have it i wanted to show you how my hair has dropped some and it's going to probably even be less as the day goes on which i like less curl just a little bit um, but I had to laugh because <laughs> I was on the phone with my mother-in-law and she was waiting for a phone call and when it came through her and I got off the phone real quick and I thought well I'll take an opportunity and I will take the heatless ruler out film it and it didn't even dawn on me till after when I was getting dressed I'm like what is that and I <laughs> realized I forgot to blend my contour in down here uh, so thank goodness I noticed that before I was out running errands today um, but so what we're going to do today is we're going to run to one of my favorite, favorite greenhouses. They just opened for this season and I'm going to get some Easter lilies for the moms. And I'm also going to just check out some of the flowers and get some ideas on what I want to use on the patio and on the front porch. And, um, they also have the cutest little, um, room with decorative accents and I just love it there. So we're going to go do that too. Plus, I have some other errands to run. Also, also, I want to share with you my seedlings. While we were in Florida, they all, well, a lot of them started to germinate. And um, so some are a little bit leggy, so I'm trying to figure out what to do with that. Um, I did reach out to Alexa, who I got one of the garden planners that I purchased from, and um, asked her a few questions. So she had some tips for me, so um, hopefully... Uh, that will all work out. So anyway, I want to show you those real quick because I forgot to share that with you yesterday. So I was real excited to come home to see that we had some germination, which was very exciting. Also, I want to take some soup. That soup yesterday, oh my gosh, you guys, it was fabulous. The key to me was the homemade vegetable broth. I mean, it was phenomenal. So I, my mother-in-law loves soup, so I promised her I'm going to bring her some soup. So we're going to go make a nice cozy cup of coffee to go because it is still rather chilly out. I do have my water though in this beautiful tumbler here and um then we're gonna go to the greenhouse okay so sorry about the again background noise that is my lovely ice maker okay so we've got here i've got basil which is looking pretty good some cilantro which i'm gonna go ahead and get this outside here soon um, I was talking to Alexa, the girl that I got my one garden planner from, and she suggested that this really, that cilantro likes to be cold. I'm going to get that outside. A little bit of rosemary. Um, I might have to sow some more rosemary. She did suggest maybe putting the rosemary seeds in the fridge, so I did that, um, my packet. Um, hot peppers, 
uh, my tomatoes. I got a little bit of sweet peppers. What's this sweet? Yes. Uh, now my over here, this is my zinnias and they're really leggy. So I don't know what the heck I'm doing wrong. I just don't. And let me, and this is arugula and this is some, what is this? Oh, onion. I got a little one coming up there. So anyway, this is all trial and error, but I, while we were gone over the weekend in Florida, this all popped up so fast. I did have them on heating pads. Now I did take the domes and the heating pads off. So we're going to see, we're going to see what happens here. But again, this is my first time ever doing this. So I don't know. We'll see. Someone said you should, you know, go like this a little bit. That will strengthen them because it gives them the, um, kind of a feeling that they're in the flapping in the wind a little bit. Don't laugh at me <laughs> if I'm doing all this wrong, seriously, friends, because again, this is, I've been really having a good time with it. So we'll see. I'm outside of Lutz's. I cannot wait to get inside. I'm not sure how much they're going to have inside because it's so early in the spring season. Um, so I'm mainly here just to get some lilies, Easter lilies to give to the moms. And um, also I want to just check out their little shop that has so many cute little accents, especially maybe something I can find from my garden area or out on the patio. So let's head on in. These are the Mandevilla. This is what I normally use every year. I get these out for our patio and they look so beautiful, especially as they start to grow. And you'll see um, how beautifully they grow as the season goes on where we put them on our patio. But I'm just getting a vision of these. And again, I'm not sure what color I wanna go with. They come in red, pink, and white. So I decided to get the mom's hyacinths. So I got a pink one for um, my mom and mother-in-law and I think maybe a white one for my friend Lori's mom who lives at the same place my mom does. And all they had was one white. So I got her that and then pink for the mumsies. And I think they're gonna like these because it's gonna smell really, really pretty in there in their houses and I thought what a great way to welcome spring. I ended up picking up this adorable chair planter that I showed you when we were at Lutz's and look at how cute this is. I think it's going to go perfectly down by my antique garden gate with some flowers in it this spring. I'm going to have a quick little lunch and uh, I'm going to have some leftover minestrone soup and I love to top my soups with Pecorino Romano cheese. So I'm gonna eat some soup and then I'm gonna share with you some of my new favorite beauty products. Okay friends, so before I wrap up this vlog, I wanted to share with you just a few new beauty items that I think you guys are going to like. So you know how much I am such a fan of Buxom lip glosses. Okay, so when we were in Florida, Julie had one on. I kept telling, I kept looking at it. I'm like, what is that Buxom shade you have on? And I can't believe I didn't even, I've never had any of these ones before. So. This is the Buxom, and let me get on my glasses because you know I need to see. Okay, this is the Collagen Peptides Advanced Plumping Serum. And let me see, this one is, okay, Star Starstruck Coral, and then I'm gonna show, show you um, Spellbound Pink. Can I just tell you, these are so pretty. Right now I just have Spellbound Pink on. That's all I've got on my lips. Okay, I'm gonna do like the old days. Remember we used to do swatches on our back of our hands. Okay, well, first of all, let me just show you. Can you see? This one is the coral one. And this one is the Spellbound Pink. 
Okay, so I'm gonna do a little swat for you like we used to in the old days. And hopefully you can see. Can I just tell you these are absolutely beautiful and you get that same kind of minty, wonderful feeling on your lips. Like buck, buck some, that's why I love them so much. Okay, let's see if you can see these. Not sure if you can see them or not. But anyway, trust me, they are so, so absolutely beautiful. So if you're a Buxom fan like me, you've got to try these out. Okay, so now the next thing is, you know how when you go into stores like Alta and Sephora, and sometimes you like you see your reflection, you're like, gosh, I look like crap today, literally. So, and I've been feeling like my under eye area has just, I have not been liking the way I look. I like, I feel like I'm looking tired and drabby, whatever. So, um, I asked one of the girls there and she suggested a couple of them. And then we ended up with this one. And I have to tell you friends, I'm really liking this a lot. And let me tell you why. I want to talk about this concealer. It's by Clinique and it's called Even Better. It's an all over concealer plus eraser. And it also has a skincare benefits to it. Here it is. Now the shade she matched me in is ivory. And so I like the, um, I like the applicator, but what I like about it is you dab it on and then lift off a little top and it's a sponge, like a really light one. So you can just, you know, tap the product. Then once you use the applicator, and put some dots on there, then you could, Go ahead and tap it with the sponge and I love that. I love that feature. So I'm really liking this a lot. So um, you guys might want to check those out and they were so kind of course. They always are when you go to this one I got at Ulta. Well, actually all three of these at Ulta and um, got to try on what color I liked and and it's just always so helpful that you could know before you purchase what the great thing is is say you get home in your own lighting or outside and you don't like it then you can always just you know which is a great thing return it. So. Um, so anyway, friends, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. I'm going to insert just like maybe a minute of just a couple clips from Florida. Um, I was going to vlog it, but I thought, you know, I just hadn't seen one of my family in quite a while and I really wanted to just enjoy them. So I just took a few little snippets. And so if you want to just sit back and enjoy a little minute to her, um, but then other than that, friends, I will be seeing you on Sunday, my next video. Uh, you're going to come along with me and we're going to do a family tradition that we always make every Holy Thursday. And we're also, um, I'm going to share with you my tablescape and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm going to share all that with you on my next video, which will come out on Easter Sunday. So, oh, by the way, I know you guys are going to ask what this bracelet, I will link it for you. I like love this thing. All right, friends, love you, love you, love you so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye. I wanted to remind you, don't forget to subscribe to my weekly newsletter. I'll have the link linked in my description section. Mm -hmm.